Hey, so, okay guys, I am finally ready to make this announcement. Okay, so, for all who don't know me, um, or you're new to my page, or you're just coming across my page, I am Dr. Tasha Rogers. Um, I am an OBGYN practicing um, out of Atlanta. I have my own private practice. Um, it's called Atlanta Premier OBGYN. So, um, I have decided, you know, um, I know you guys saw a video that I had done about a personal friend of mine who, um, I stopped doing deliveries in 2021 and, um, I was not, I delivered two of her children, but I did not deliver her last child and through no fault of anybody, um, this, she survived but it was bad she ended up unresponsive on a vent and there was just a lot of stuff the family was just so lost they were so scared thank god i was able to provide some guidance and some information i was an associate of her doctor so i was kind of able to get the story the full story the background story but what about the families who don't have that what about the families who don't have the information who don't have the education who don't have the guidance who don't have the support and my wheels got to spinning because I was so scared. I was so scared she wouldn't wake up. I was so scared she would never see her children again. Like, it was horrific. Um, it was like it was my own child. And um, it was just bad. And my wheels started turning. So, um, I already have a nonprofit. It's called Sisters Caring for Others. And I decided to switch the focus um, of my nonprofit. And Sisters Caring for Others will be an advocacy group for um, women in order to decrease the morbidity and mortality um, of women in healthcare. And what does that actually mean? I mean, you know, that's your mission statement. What does that actually mean? That means that we are going to be advocating for women. Our goal is to protect you completely. Our goal is to one educate you on how not to end up on the high risk list we'll be providing some prenatal education classes we will be teaching your support people how to be support people if that is a family member we're going to be teaching them how to look at vital signs how to check you for bleeding um, how to um, assess whether you may have a blood clot developing in your leg we're going to um or in your lungs we're going to essentially teach them to pro the protocol for hierarchy at the hospitals for who to speak to, how to speak to them, how not to lose your cool. Um, at what point do you say, I need my attorney at the bedside and we will be providing um, a list of reputable attorneys that can go to your bedside. We will be um, teaching, we will be getting people CPR certified. So if you have to start CPR on somebody, we'll also be teaching neonatal CPR. So if you're home with your baby, if your baby's choking, if they start choking while you're breastfeeding, then you know what to do other than running around looking for somebody who might know what to do. You are CPR certified. We're even going to provide classes for doulas. Um, now, doulas, everything with this organization will be free. We'll be focused on private funding, um, federal and state funding, but um, everything will be free to the public. The only thing that will not be free, it will not be free for doulas because you guys are going to charge people for your services. So we're going to charge you um, to teach you how to read fetal heart monitors. If you don't know, doulas are not clinical at all. They're not. They're just support people. They may have picked up some things along the way. They may have learned some things along the way, but they are not clinical. They're just for your support. Well, we are going to teach doulas how to read fetal heart tracings to a degree. We are going to make sure that the doulas know and understand how to um, see if a baby is really in trouble. Um, and so... It basically, this advocacy group is a way to keep you out of trouble, meaning what can you do during your pregnancy that maybe your doctor hasn't taken the time to share with you? What should you eat? What should you not eat? What vaccinations are okay? Which ones should you decline? Um, what's safe? What's not safe? How do you exercise? What's um, recommended versus what's not recommended? We're going to get you with all those things um, and just make sure 
that you are supported. Make sure that you have done every single thing that you can do um, as a patient to advocate and help yourself. And there are some things, granted, one in 5,000 deliveries are going to end in a fatality, and that is just the statistics. That is just the truth. There's not always something that can be done, but if there is something that can be done, we wanna make sure that it's done. We're learning now that a lot of hospitals are changing the medical records. Um, so it is imperative that you get your medical records before you actually leave the hospital. If there's a fee and you can't afford that fee, that's what the advocacy group is for as well. So our job is to decrease morbidity and mortality by empowering you to understand what you're looking at, to keep your cool enough to address it. And when all of those things are still ignored, to have um, another alternative um, to be able to come in and advocate for you. So um, it is called Sisters Caring for Others. Um, you will hear more about it. If you are out there, please, please, please repost this. Repost, repost. Excuse me. Repost this. Um, make it go viral on TikTok. Um, if you're in another state, you will still be able to. We'll stream classes. We'll stream the um, Red Cross um, CPR and neonatal CPR certification certifications. Um, we will make sure that you have an attorney in your state that will come to your bedside. So there's a lot of work that has to be done. Um, we're just shifting and pivoting um, our focus. So be patient. I'll keep you with updates. But this is a thing. It's a real thing, guys. And I am so excited about it. So much so I'm shifting probably about 60% of my focus from the practice to getting um, the advocacy group up, rolling, and active. So if you are somebody um, who works for an organization who um, who sponsors or who will um, pledge, please DM me. If you work for a foundation, if you work for a big corporate company and you know who the person is to get to, please DM us um, so that we can work with you. Um, but again, please, please, please just keep passing this along because help is on the way, I promise.